story tonight. A sweeping gun control bill is moving forward at the Capitol. It passed in the House of Representatives and is on its way to the Senate for a decision. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski joins us now live at the Capitol with details on the bill and reaction tonight. Eliza. Aaron, good evening. This is the biggest update to firearm laws since legislation following Sandy Hook and in a 96-51 vote, Governor Lamont's gun control bills have passed a major hurdle. As mass shootings are almost common at this point. Guns are the leading cause of death for children in the United States. Governor Lamont's gun bill expands on the state's assault weapons ban in hopes of preventing another mass shooting and reduce crime here in Connecticut. Some of the major provisions include ban open carry, ban ghost guns, they must be registered or serialized, expands safe storage, and it allows only three guns to be purchased in a 30-day period. I'm glad that they're trying to make it more difficult for criminals to get guns, but don't infringe on my rights as a, a responsible citizen who does the right thing, who keeps hers locked and hidden, who went through the whole process to get it legally. And there's nothing that in this bill that's going to prevent that. I mean, it's, it's, it's really encouraging responsible gun ownership. Connecticut Against Gun Violence says this is a step in the right direction to make Connecticut safer. These are just simple laws. Um, these are common sense gun safety laws that will save lives. And they will work as they already have. Those against it saying this isn't the solution. Connecticut Citizens Defense League saying more action needs to be taken against criminals. Criminals are a problem here. Um, urban violence is a problem here. Open carry is not. So the fact that that was made a priority really is very telling of what the intentions were of this bill. A criminal wants a gun, they're going to find a way to get it. The bill now goes to the Senate before it is signed into law, and a vote for that could happen as soon as next week. Reporting live at the Capitol tonight, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Eliza, thank you.